with scientists making great strides in cloning. Some think it's only a matter of time until the world begins genetically modifying humans. And that's when questions of morality arise. Here to answer some of those questions is Monsignor Michael Curran, a professor of moral theology at St. Joseph's Seminary in Dunwoody. He joins us now. Monsignor, I can't think of a better person to have this discussion with. No, I'm happy to be here, Liz. Thank, Thank you. you so yeah. much. From a Catholic perspective, let's talk first about the dangers with cloning anything, but sure. especially humans. What are they? Sure, with the, the danger with, with cloning anything, of course, would start off with animals, which is where a lot of the data is coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing, you know, in terms of the progress of science, as long as you respect, obviously, the life of God's creatures and don't cause undue harm. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the, the prospect of doing it from human beings, on human beings, the, then we run into all kinds of uh, moral objections that really are assaults on the dignity of the human person. Mm -hmm. You know, we speak of procreation, not simply reproduction. Mm -hmm. uh, so the personal act of man and woman, husband and wife, uh, an act of, of love, an act of their own choice, mm -hmm. uh, an act that is in total congruity with their marriage vows, that's the proper setting for the procreation mm -hmm. of another human person. And to the cloning, which is really involves the manipulation yeah. of uh, uh, genetic material without any personal uh, investment of the mm -hmm. person, uh, that's where we run into really that moral objections. That investment, that moral fiber, and, right. and, and that's just one aspect sure. of this particular topic, right? What about critics that are accusing scientists of, of playing God? Do you agree with that? It's possible in some cases that it, 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 the, the, the idea of maybe the total progress at all costs mm -hmm. of, uh, of technology, the failure to uh, ask what should we do instead of not what can we do, mm -hmm. you know, whether uh, th it's a difference between those interventions that are therapeutic and don't, do not involve the manipulation of persons mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to something just to see what we can do. Can we produce, as it were, something that resembles uh, a human being. I want yeah. to talk more about that, Monsignor, in the time that sure. we have left, because as you mentioned just very sure. briefly in a couple yeah. of your answers, some experts cite that uh, the medical benefits mm -hmm. to these genetic modifications, eradicating certain kinds sure. of str cancer strands. Others say they can make hu human egg cells and that could help infertile couples, but how does all of that fit in with the church's pro-life teachings at the, at the very basic foundation sure. of it? Well, it, uh, we would, uh, as the church, support anything that uh, fosters the well-being of, of human beings, mm -hmm. uh, that is, you know, pro-life, respecting the full dignity of the human person yeah. and the human person as a, an end, as the church beautifully says. The, the human being is the only creature that God created as an end in him or herself. Mm -hmm. uh, so manipulating uh, uh, people or manipulating their genetic material mm -hmm. such as th to make them a means to an end, uh, even if it benefits another person. We mm -hmm. don't use people mm -hmm. in that regard. The idea of harvesting organs from uh, another person or cloning for that, for that purpose would be to, uh, to, to use mm -hmm. somebody uh, as a means to an end and, and really is uh, an assault on, on human dignity uh, okay. and that you know, we're just made for better than that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to leave it yeah, there yeah. appropriately. So thank you so, Monsignor Curran, for helping us unravel such a difficult topic. It's always good talking with always you. Always great to thank be here, Liz. Thanks here. for having me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.